I feel this calling that you had basically everything that you're looking for. You get a good career, you had the new places, you already had a car, but it just seems like it's not it. This life that I want, the life of community that pray together and dedicated the whole life to God without holding back anything. And the only reason for that is because you experience God's love in your life. When I was discerning whether I should enter seminary or religious life, I was seeing someone. And but to even open your mouth and say, uh, I'm thinking of pursuing a vocation, that's a, that's a very scary thought. When I was younger, I was, I was altar server. It made me desire to be closer to our Lord and in some way to imitate the priest. So I would go every year to the Dyson Seminary for their retreats. My favourite thing in those retreats were praying the office together. You know, I realised I, I didn't know what to do. I was stuck knowing that the diocesan priesthood is not exactly what I'm looking for. Somewhat is laid down to me. Actually, I discerning with Benedictine on that point of time. The retreat master, Tom Bryan, actually using a sand of Mont Carmel's by John of Cross. And after that retreat, this very priest, devotee of St. Dress of the Zoom, recommend me the story of a soul. There is a, this little way of St. Dress that you can get closer and closer with total trust, confidence to God. In the Carmelite spirituality, there was always this gentle emphasis towards living authentic friendship with God, which definitely will, will ask a lot of us in how we need to let go of all these hurts, apprehensions, things which perhaps prevent us from going further. But to realize that at the end of the day, it's because there is a loving God behind who wants to establish this close contact with us and to really be close friends with us. When you experience Jesus in your daily life, the moment you wake up and you open your eyes and He's there from morning to the closing, and then you realize, oh, He, he is the friend that <laughs> unfortunately no other friend can compare to. Father Kenneth, who I was helping do some stuff, he said, hey, why don't you come and do a vocation retreat? I said, oh, no thanks, Father, because I've done, you know, this whole seminary thing two times, I think, no more. And I was concerned also about what my parents would think. I think half of me wanted to go back to formation, another half was like, huh. so since I can't do anything about it, so let's just leave it at that. One day, my dad, he spoke to me, he said, uh, sons, your mom and I are very concerned about you. If you don't intend to settle down, I think you better go back to the seminary. So after he told me that, I said, okay, this is the sign that I've been waiting for. Lah. And then I dropped Father Kenneth an email and said, okay, I will do the retreat. So I knew Brother Reginald even before we entered the order. I sent a text to Brother Reginald. I asked him, I'm looking for a place to do a retreat. Do you know where I can do it? And then he, he replied, I just came back from a retreat. It was very good. That was all he said. And in the end, it was the Carmelite Formation House at Pongo. I looked at myself in the mirror and I asked myself the question, can you do this, you know, try and live this Carmelite life forever? And the response came spontaneously, it came honestly, and it was yes. Actually, I, I think the two of us met first, uh, Brother Bart and I, because we knew each other before coming to Carmel. So when I decided to join, he didn't say anything. He didn't tell me also. So it became a, a providential coincidence later on when we found out that we had both entered. We met him first day, let's say in Carmel. Eh? If we think about friendship with God, to really love God means you are also friends with the people who He loves. That poses itself as a challenge, but at the same time a yardstick for somebody to know whether their friendship with God is a real friendship or is a friendship in the head, you know. We came in together and we spent a good three years together before we were sent for our theological studies. And uh, these two were picked to go to Rome, the eternal city. Then I was sent to the Philippines. Initially, I said the two of us would have been able to make solemn profession in Rome. And then later on, Brother Regina would make it. You know, but now when I look back and I see how the Lord has placed everything together, it is beautiful in a way which I did not imagine so that now we, we are able to celebrate and make the profession together. St. Thomas says it is a life of perfection. We are called to imitate the one behind us who was poor, who was chaste, who was obedient. It's not special in itself. It is special because it imitates the life of Jesus Christ. I will quote from St. Teresa of Avila, become a good friend of God 
when I see old good religious still turn out for prayer, still kneeling before the blessed sacraments for two hours, then you know there is more than love to it. You grow in your love. In your Father, Son, and the Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I would like to pray for the journey ahead of Brother Bartolo, Brother Regino, and myself. The journey that I believe await for your greater glory. I do not know what lies ahead, but I know I want to be there with you. So I ask that you be there with me to make good this profession, that I may be a better servant for your church, for your people. I may to be courageous in overcoming my difficulties, to be joyful in rejoicing in the blessings that you have given to me, and to be generous in sharing your love with others, to fall in love more and more each day with you. Amen. Amen.